Next we're going to review injection of the knee. Before we get started, keep in mind that this is just a demonstration and normally these are performed under sterile environments with betadine and prepping the area properly. This is just an idea to show the physician exactly the approach that we use in doing injections with the proper needle placement and approach. The most common target that physicians typically inject the knee joint is the suprapatellar recess or bursa. We begin by placing the transducer in a longitudinal plane with the end of the transducer just above the patient's patella. Next, in setup for the injection, I'm going to rotate my transducer to cross section. And here we can visualize the physiologic fluid of the suprapatellar recess, which is the band of darkness above the cortex. This will be the target site of our knee injection. The proper landmarks associated with the knee injection are palpating the iliotibial band, which is a structure that runs down the lateral thigh, and in between the iliotibial band and the vastus lateralis is a soft spot, palpated right here. A needle is inserted in this soft spot between the iliotibial band and the vastus lateralis in a direction directly beneath the center of the transducer to ensure an accurate localization. The needle will be guided into the suprapatellar bursa and lidocaine is typically injected to ensure proper location and we'll see the bursa expand. In addition to injections of cortisone or lidocaine or other medications, we often aspirate the knee if there is a significant effusion of the suprapatellar recess. By doing this, we use the same approach as the described injection technique. However, initially, we'll use an 18-gauge needle, insert the suprapatellar recess, and drain the fluid out.